Hello everyone, welcome to another video and in this video I am going to show you how to troubleshoot connectivity issues in an AWS VPC. So uh, this video is like the continuation from where we left in the last video where I showed you how to create a custom VPC from scratch. Okay, so I have broken a few things in this VPC so that I can show you how to troubleshoot uh, some connectivity issues that you might see when you, uh, I mean, where you're in, uh, when you are working in a real-time environment, okay, where you are working within a VPC. So you might see some connectivity issues there. So you should know how to start troubleshooting those issues. All right. So let's have a look at the diagram first. So in this diagram, okay, the first thing that we have to do is we have to try to SSH to our Bastion host, which is hosted in the public subnet in 1B, uh, in 1B availability zone. So I'm, I'm going to try to SSH to this EC2 instance, which is the Bastion host from my laptop. Okay. So I'm, so let me go to my AWS management console and uh, copy the uh, login command. So this is the Bastion host. So just click, just choose the instance or just click on the instance ID and click on connect and then copy the example command from here. So let's see what happens. So I'm trying to SSH to this Bastion host from my laptop. And uh, usually when you're trying to SSH, it usually takes like two seconds to five seconds to log you in. But in this case, as you can see, it is kind of uh, in the uh, hung state. And now we see the error. Connect to host IP address of your Bastion host port 22 connection timed out. Okay, it, it, it uh, did not work. So I was not able to SSH to my Bastion host from my laptop to a server, okay, or the Bastion host EC2 instance, which is in the public subnet. And uh, as you can see in the diagram, it is in the public subnet and uh, we have internet gateway also attached as per the diagram. So we just have to verify these things now in uh, AWS Management Console. Now, let me give you a very systematic approach to how to troubleshoot these type of issues, okay? So if you have your uh, I mean, application architecture or VPC architecture, when you face this issue, the first thing that you have to check is, what is the first line of defense? Or you can say, where is the first problem that can arise, okay? so. This is our bastion host, right? And the closest firewall that, you know, includes the rules, inbound and outbound rules to this EC2 instance is security group, right? So security group is the first thing that we have to check if we are unable to SSH to an EC2 instance always, okay? Because uh, so this is the resource, which is the closest to EC2 instance, right? So I mean, we have to start from this security group. So let's head back to our AWS management console and check the security group of our Bastion host. Right, it's taking a bit longer. Okay, so Bastion host, uh, I've already selected it actually. So, so uh, just go to the security tab here after you choose your instance, which is, uh, I mean, which you are uh, facing issues with and then go to security tab to check the security group. So this is a security group attached, okay? And if you scroll down and check the inbound rules, you can see there are no rules to display an inbound rule, which means there is no there is no rule included in the security group that allows SSH traffic from my laptop to this EC2 instance. Okay, so uh, there's one more thing that you should uh, always remember that if you don't see any rules inside a security group, okay, whether inbound or outbound, that means it's it's an uh, implicit deny. Okay, the meaning of this is if there are no rules that means nothing is allowed 
okay so that is why i think i mean so uh, this is one of the issues right now because i i was uh, uh, you know not able to ssh to this ec2 instance which means that there was something wrong in, in, in the connectivity and the first thing that we were able to check is the security group so there are no rules added here so first we have to add the security group rule so just open this security group in a new tab and then click on inbound rules okay because i am trying to reach the ec2 instance which means i am trying to uh, you know i am trying to uh, I'm mean, using inbound rule to connect to the EC2 instance. So I have to add a rule in inbound. So just, just click on edit inbound rules from here. Add rule. Type will be SSH. I want the SSH traffic to be allowed from where? From my IP. Click on save rules. Okay, so inbound rule is allowed now. And uh, let's try to SSH again to our bastion host. So just hit the up arrow key to, to see the last command executed and hit enter. So once again, if you see, it only takes like a two to five seconds, I would say, to log you in. But if you don't see anything, that means something is wrong. Uh, uh, even after adding the security group rule, there's something else which is missing okay in our connectivity so once again you see the same error connect to host ip address 422 connection timed out so once again you have to uh, check the diagram again okay after security group after security group the next thing we have to check is our uh, subnet level uh, traffic rules which are which are maintained in nacl okay the network access control list attached to the subnet okay so now we have to check the nacl if the secure uh, if the rules are allowed in security in uh, the uh, nacl or not okay so wh what i'll do is i'm going to check the nacl attached to the uh, subnet where my ec2 instance resides okay so i'm talking about uh, uh, this public 1b subnet okay so we have to check the NACL for public 1B subnet. So let's go back to our AWS Maven console and uh, on my VPC dashboard, I can click on network access control lists. Or maybe uh, the best thing to uh, check this is, okay, go to your EC2 uh, dashboard and after you've selected the instance, then go to a networking section and then check the subnet here, okay? So this is the subnet so just click on this it's going to open the subnet details in another tab okay so this is the subnet in which the instance is launched so just click on subnet id and then check for the network acl attached to this subnet okay so as, as you can see here in this subnet this is the nacl attached to it so just click on this okay and uh, then, then again you have to click on this network acl id and then you have to check for inbound rules okay and, and, you, and you can see that there are uh, a few rules which are there and as you can see the lowest numbered rule if you remember from our uh, i mean from my video where i uh, explained the concepts of nacl how the rules inside nacl work so NACL uses numbered rules and the rule which is, uh, you know, numbered the lowest is the one that is, uh, you know, used by your ACL. That means if you have multiple rules, okay, in uh, inbound or uh, uh, outbound rule section, then the rule which is having the lowest number okay lowest rule number that is going to succeed all the other rules in the list okay so as you can see the lowest number rule is 99 here okay so if, uh, 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 and you can see this rule is actually denying the traffic okay so it says deny 
all traffic from all protocol all port range all source okay and then the other rule which is number 100 is allowing everything okay but in this case since uh, this has a uh, the lowest number so uh, this rule is, is going to be applied by the nacl so what we have to do is we have to change that so just click on edit inbound rules here in the nacl inbound rule section and uh, just delete the deny rule because we already have allow rule numbered 100 so just delete the deny rule here and then you can save and then we can try again okay so we just need to remove this rule which is denying everything so remove save changes and also you can check the outbound rules also once but outbound is allowing everything okay everything is allowed so we don't need to do anything here now again we will try to SSH to the uh, bastion host and see if it works. So once again it's not it's, uh, it's not working okay we, we are still having issues we are still unable to SSH to our bastion host which resides in, in a public subnet okay and uh, let this command fail and then we will see okay so the, the command has failed now so once again we have the same error so once again we have to head back to our diagram and see what next we, we can check so we have checked the security group we have checked the nacl now the next thing that is left is our route table okay because route table maintains the routes of your uh, you know uh, different resources so <clears throat> in this case if you see there should be a route in the uh, in the route table attached to the subnet where my ec2 instance resides there should be a route which says that you can i mean uh, there should be a route which says that there's an uh, internet gateway attached to the vpc which is allowing all the traffic on internet right if you remember uh, uh, i mean from my last video we uh, i mean catered one route table and then we edit the rule which which is uh, I mean which uh, allows all the traffic to internet via the internet gateway so this is the requirement inside a VPC if you want to allow internet connectivity right so I mean uh, just after security group and NACL we have to verify our route table also which is attached to the subnet so I'll go back to my AWS management console and what I'll do is I'm going to uh, check the subnet first so I know the subnet is public 1b okay so just click on the subnet here and then check the route table this time so just click on this route table which is, which is attached to our uh, uh, this public 1b subnet so just click on route table and uh, and this is the route table just click on the route table id and under routes you have to verify so as you can see in the routes there is no route which says that internet gateway is allowing the traffic on internet okay so so this is the issue here okay so we have to we have to uh, just add a rule in the route table which allows the traffic to internet via internet gateway so what, what I'll do is I'm going to click on edit route I'm going to click on add route okay I mean I, I'm using route word but uh, some people call it root also so it's up to you i i use route a lot but you can use root also okay so <clears throat> here i have to add the destination okay so i want to allow internet means all access all the ip addresses so i'm going to use 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 slash 0 and so uh, once again the meaning of uh, this rule is if you have to go to internet okay or if the traffic is, 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 is coming from internet then it should be routed to internet gateway okay so I'll choose internet gateway here Just click here and then you will get the option to add your IGW or internet gateway then click on save changes okay so the route is added and it is applied immediately so we will once again try to SSH to our bastion host
and this time you see I'm able to log in okay so uh, this was the issue so uh, let me repeat myself because again this is very critical from I mean conceptual point of view to uh, I mean uh, understand how VPC works and how you can troubleshoot step by step okay so I mean, I mean we were not able to SSH to this EC2 instance okay and we know the traffic flows from internet gateway to this EC2 instance but we have to start from step one step one is always to check the security group attached to the EC2 instance which did not have the rule to allow this type of traffic so I added the SSH traffic rule in the inbound section of the security group attached to the EC2 instance then I, uh, I checked my NACL attached to the subnet so this also did not have the rule so I added the rule I mean I, there was a deny rule in the NACL so I removed the rule okay so security group NACL is done then again I mean we still had issues so then I checked the route table attached to the public subnet in which my uh, this bastion host resides and I saw that there was no root edit that said uh, that you can I mean, contact via uh, I mean the traffic can uh, I mean go to your public subnet via internet gateway so uh, there was no root edit to the route table so we edit the route table okay and then we were able to SSH to the machine all right this is clear now now the next thing is the next task that we had in the last video was from our bastion host we should be able to SSH to the the private instance which has our main application right so from here I should be able to SSH to this this private instance here okay so let's try to do that first I have to check if I have the uh, the private key and with the right permissions also so I'll do ls space hyphen l and I can check I have this Linux demo kp.pem which is the which is the private key file which I need to use to SSH to the private instance and I can check the permissions also it is currently set to read only permissions for ec2 hyphen user which is the perfect permission okay so uh, I mean I should be able to uh, log into this this private instance from here okay so what I'll do is I'll copy the command so I'll go back to my AWS management console on the instances section and I'm going to choose the uh, the login command of the private instance so just choose the instance click on connect and copy the exa example command from here and uh, go here and try to SSH to it once again it is taking a bit longer than it should so it means it's not working and it's going to fail okay but let it fail first and then we'll see how to troubleshoot this issue now okay uh, any moment now Okay, it is kind of uh, in hung status right now, but soon it's going to fail. Okay, uh, it is hung and it's taking a bit longer to fail as well. But but anyways, we know that it's not working. Okay, else we will. I mean, we would have been able to log in within two to five seconds at the max okay so we can still check the connectivity so once again you have to refer to our diagram okay so just go to your vpc architecture diagram and see so from here if i have to ssh to this instance okay so once again as i mentioned whenever you are unable to ssh to an instance the first thing that you have to check is the security group okay so I mean, first we check the security group of our bastion host, but did, which which uh, did not have the rule. So we edit the rule there. Now we have to check the security group of our private instance in, in the private subnet here. Okay. So let's go to AWS Management Console and uh, check for the security group. Okay. So I'll go back to instances section.
okay so this instance is is already selected the private one so we can go to security section now and check for the security group and you can see in the security group so there are no rules again okay so once again if security group does not have any rules which means it's an implicit deny okay so there are no uh, uh there's nothing allowed in the security group right now okay so this is the first thing that we have to check so we have to add the rule so once again i'm going to open this security group in a new tab and then i'm going to add a rule so added inbound rule okay now what we have to allow here let's uh, go back to our vpc diagram and you can see i want to allow this bastion host instance to ssh to this private ec2 instance which means okay if you remember from our last video whenever you want to allow an instance to ssh to another instance we generally refer the security group of the instance which which wants to uh log into our instance okay which means if on this if inside the security group of this private ec2 instance if i allow the security group of our bastion host then this bastion host uh, should be able to ssh to this private instance okay so what i'll do is i'll go back to my aws management console and under the security group inbound rule section i am going to click on add rule and then i am going to choose ssh okay and i want to allow this via a security group so security group rules or security group id will always start with sg so just type sg here and then you can see all the security groups which are available in your vpc okay so here you can see uh we need to choose the security group of the bastion host okay which is this one bastion hyphen sg okay and uh, it is always uh, the best practice to write the description also so you can write bash gen security group and save rules so now i have allowed this uh, this traffic via the security group okay so uh, uh, let's go back to our mobile x term and let's try to ssh and now it has failed also so let's try to rerun the command and this time i'm able to ssh to it okay which means the issue was with the security group of the private instance which was not allowing any traffic to it okay so just after i added the security group rule i mean i uh, added the rule to allow bastion host to ssh to this private instance i am able to ssh now right this is done now the next task was to see if this private instance is able to download software packages or updates from internet or not okay which means we are checking if this nat gateway is working or not for us okay so what we'll do is we will uh, just try to download a package called httpd okay so in my last video when i installed httpd i actually removed it okay so i i removed the httpd package okay the uh, apache web server package so now i'll try to reinstall that again okay so what i'll do is i'll do sudo since i'm logged in as ec2 hyphen user so i'm going to use sudo then yum install httpd and enter so let's try to install it let's click let's type y And, and you can see it doesn't take this long to install any package okay on an instance it usually uh, you know just starts downloading almost immediately when you just hit y so once again there is some issue i'm still I, i'm uh, unable to download the packages from this private ec2 instance from internet okay so if you remember whenever you i mean whenever you have a private ec2 instance in a private subnet which is trying to download software packages from internet which means you have to check the connectivity with your nat gateway right because a nat gateway is a resource which allows the uh, uh outbound traffic from your private ec2 instance to internet okay so if you remember this nat gateway configuration we have done in the route table of this private subnet okay 
So what we have to do is we have to check the route table to which this private subnet is associated with. Okay. Then we have to check in the route table that a route is added to internet via this NAT gateway or not. So this is what we have to check. Okay. Because we have checked the security group. Okay. I mean, once again, we can check the NACL also after this, after security, group, we can check the NACL. But uh, since I checked the, uh, this NACL that we are using the same NACL for all the four subnets. But anyways, let's just verify the NACL traffic also. So after security group, you can check the NACL in this case also. Okay. So let's go to our NACL. The first thing we have to do is we have to identify the subnet. So let's go to instances section and just click on this networking tab and then uh, find out your subnet. This is the subnet. So just click on it. It's going to open this in a new tab. and click on the uh, ACL ID after this. Okay, so you have to click on this, the subnet ID first. So just click on the subnet ID and then choose the network ACL and then click on network ACL ID here. And you have to check the inbound and outbound rules. As you can see, because this is the same as ACL which we uh, modified just a while ago okay so it is allowing all all the rules right is allowing everything allow rule which is 100 number and outbound also it is it is allowing everything so no issue with the network acl okay so we have checked the security group we added the rule and we have checked the the uh, nacl as well and it, it is also looking okay so now after security group after nacl the next thing is we have to check is the route table to which this private summit is associated with to check if there's a route added via the NAT gateway to internet or not. Okay. So once again, I'm going to head back to my AWS management console and I'm going to go to um, VPC section and inside VPC section, I have to check for the route table. So once again, the best way to search for the route table to which your subnet is associated with, just go to your instances section again Okay, then choose your uh, subnet from here and then you have to click on the subnet ID from this subnet dashboard. Okay, it can load in a, any moment now. All right, so just click on subnet ID and then click on route table from here then click on the route table ID and then check the routes. As you can see, once again, there is no route or route. So there is no, uh, no route uh, which allows this traffic. So from this private EC2 instance, this NAT gateway should be allowed to internet, right? So it, it is not allowing in our route table of the uh, this subnet. So we have to edit the routes. So just click on edit route here, add route and I want to allow internet which means 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 via NAT gateway this time. So choose NAT gateway, just click here and then you will get the option to add your NAT gateway and click on save changes. Done. So the changes are applied immediately so you can verify. So now I'll try to do the, I'll try to run the command again. Done and now I'll try to run the command again and it's going to install immediately. So it, it is able to install the package now. Okay. So now we have troubleshooted our entire VPC uh, architecture, right? Step by step. Okay. So I hope uh, this video was, was useful to you to understand how you can step by step troubleshoot connectivity issues within your VPC. Okay, starting from security group, then checking the NACL and then checking the route table of your respective subnets. If it's related to your uh, this public subnets, then you should check the route table of, of the uh, this public subnet. If it has a route uh, related to internet gateway to, in, uh, to internet, and if it's a private instance, which is trying to download something from internet, then you have to check the route table of this private subnet if it has a route for internet gateway to go out to internet 
okay but once again you have to start from security group then nacl and then the route table okay so this is how we uh, troubleshoot issues in real time also okay so i i uh, uh, i hope this video was useful to you okay and uh, if you like my videos please hit the like button okay and uh, please share this video with others and subscribe to my channel all right guys that's all i wanted to cover in this video and i'm going to see you in the next one bye